Well, let, let, let's cover the pasteurization first because it, it, it's, it's fairly critical into understanding what a product is delivering nutritionally to our bodies. Because we want to make sure that we're going to give our bodies the nutritional components to support the life experience we want. If we're looking to uh, a juice to deliver that for us, we need to realize that there's some things that the juice is going to be lacking. And it's primarily because it goes through pasteurization. But if it's in a juice form, packaged as a juice, pasteurization is essential, or that juice will not be stable. If you don't kill the natural microorganisms that's in there, that juice bottle is going to ferment, create pressure, uh, you know, can damage the bottle. And what's more is, is at the time a customer is looking at it, they're not going to want to drink it because then it can become harmful to their systems. So if you're looking at a juice product, it's fairly essential that it has been pasteurized or it's of no value to you. You won't want to drink it. So pasteurization is necessary to deliver a, a consumable product in a juice form. Now there's two basic types of pasteurization that's typically been used. One is a batch pasteurization process where whatever the size is, whether it's 50 gallons or 50,000 gallons, they take the entire batch and they'll heat it up to 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and keep it at that for at least six to eight minutes so they know that that temperature has fully eliminated any microbial uh, microorganisms that would continue to grow in a live fresh juice. And then once they have that heat, then they will go ahead and typically fill it into the bottle hot so that they make sure the bottle that it goes into becomes sanitized as well by the same heat of the juice. They have now come up with the secondary uh, pasteurization process, which is flash pasteurization. And this is an improvement in terms of nutritional value and retention versus the, the, the older style of doing batch processing. Because in a flash pasteurization, it's for less time. They're typically doing it for about six seconds. But in order to do it in six seconds and still eliminate the necessary microorganisms so the juice is stable, they have to heat it to a much higher temperature. So typically, they're still heating it to 185 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. They're going to heat it up to 3 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or more, depending on, on the dwell time of the particular juice and what temperature it takes to effectively eliminate those microorganisms. Once they've had it that high, it's almost necessary to cool it down to some degree, particularly when they're filling it into plastic bottles so they don't damage the bottle it's going into so that they're able to maintain the structure of the bottle that they're packaging it in. So even though they've heated it up that high, yeah, they really need to cool it back down for packaging purposes. And the sooner they cool it back down, the less denaturing and alteration there is of the nutritional values that are left. But unfortunately, the temperature that it takes to denature and make the juice stable also has substantial nutritional degradation, enzymatic and other nutritional values that our bodies need to be getting when we consume whole foods. Well, if, if, if bottled juices are pasteurized, why do you still find uh, preservatives in them? Uh, what's one of them? Sodium benzoate? And what else do you see in these? Why does this happen? I, it's an additional assurance that if for some reason there might be a specific strain of microorganism that they did not effectively get in a flash pasteurization process, the sodium benzoate and potassium sorbate, citric acid, and some of those that are put in there as a preservative or help to bring the pH of that product down so it's much more acidic. So it's, it, it, it's to change the environment, make it so if there's something that's still there, the acidic environment disallows uh, a specific species, a strain of microorganisms, to start feeding off the sugars and, and, and increase the microorganisms and damage and denature the product that much further. 